the Southern Kings will make a welcome return to Super Rugby after their 2013 debut. Even though they finished at the bottom of the log in 2013, they were competitive throughout the competition and managed three home game wins at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. An impressive 28-all draw to the Brumbies in Canberra was indeed a highlight of the competition as they outscored their hosts by four tries to two and then followed it up with their first tour game win by beating the Melbourne Rebels 30 points to 27. 2016 will be a tough year for the newly formed again franchise, especially given their well-documented off-field issues. But coach Dion Davids has worked hard in the time available to create a culture of forward thinking and positivity as the franchise looks to re-establish itself in difficult circumstances. Uh, there's a saying in English that says less is sometimes more. And, and I mean be realistic in terms of the situation that we are in, but, but we said to ourselves, listen, we're going to be more process driven than, than, than result driven. It's going to be important for us to, to, to see how we can improve week in and week out. The game is about doing the basics right, doing the simple things right. And, and as we as, as, as individual, as a team, can identify that, can measure that week in and week out, and, and, and try to improve throughout the competition on those things, I think we will be competitive and, and and we can enjoy our rugby. I remember Coach Dion signing me from Martis. I was playing club rugby at Martis and um, Coach Dion saw me play there. So he uh, offered me a contract to go and play, come and play at Berlin. So yeah, um, I started my career under him and I know what he wants and what he thinks of the game. So yeah, I'm happy to be part of his coaching team again. Prop Skulk Ferreira has experienced much adversity in his career with injury and epitomizes the positive mindset that is going to be critical to the Kings achieving their goals. I think all rugby careers are ups and downs and uh, like you said I had some adversity in my life so this is just another one. You know, it's, um, I'm not going to beat around and push it. It wasn't easy for the guys but uh, the guys are hungry and I feel you know, the bigger the challenge, uh, the, the bigger the hero that comes out of it. I think mentally it was more, more difficult for the guys not being able to train in the first part of, of the pre-season and then the contracts and everything got sorted out and uh, we came back on the 4th of Jan, started with a bang. It's been really amazing the last four weeks being together. I think the guys put the past behind them and uh, we're just looking at the future. Despite the Kings being up against it, Wing Siander Gray is excited about the attacking mindset with which the squad is preparing for their opening rounds. Yeah, the guys are excited when in competition. It's like, it's, I'll say it's every player's dream to play Super Rugby, you know, and then after Super Rugby, then you've got another option when you play after Super Rugby, maybe Springboks one day. But Super Rugby, it's exciting. Everybody wants to be part of the team, you know, and wants to be part of the Playing 22. The competition is the best in the world and it brings a lot of challenges. So at the end of the day, we need to be, we need to be clear in terms of what's going to be the right environment in which we can operate to be successful and, and what are, what are going to be the, the most important things on the field that we need to look at to, uh, to make us improve. I've played in 2013 and the atmosphere was in a, uh, in a state back then. I know it's going to be back because the people are hungry for rugby. I think they, they're over all the political stuff and they just want to see guys put out their hearts and that's all we can say from a team perspective. So listen here, we'll show you heart.